This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the charging curve of the Renault Megane E-Tech. So let's just roll the tape, shall we? All right, so you see that right off the bat that the Megane hits 125, 126 kilowatt. That's quite impressive for such a small battery. Uh, but we don't really see 130 kilowatt, which is the advertised speed for the Megane. Uh, actually, on the charger, you might see 130, but that is including some charging loss. I mean, yeah, charging losses and some um, cooling. And I also include Aria, small battery in Model 3 and i 3 But you see that already now the Megane start throttling a little bit compared to the other ones, at least, that has a nice and flat curve. Hmm, okay. And also these cars, you see, they have similar battery sizes, but also similar price so it kind of makes sense to compare these cars uh, but okay what the hell is going on here um not much, I guess, it's just except for that um, Megane is starting to fall behind the other ones. Aria and Model 3 is going, especially Model 3 had a really nice jolt of speed. But you see that already now, also Model 3 is now throttling a little bit, but still going in the lead in the kilowatt uh, department here. Aria has a flatter curve, uh, it's kind of, uh, second, and then ID3, still fairly flat, but huh, for being a, a German car, it's not that flat, really. Compared to the other one. So actually right now the Megane is on the slow, it's the slowest one. It's really the slowest right now. Wow. Okay, and then Model 3 starts dipping oh, below 100 kilowatts. Aria though has a nice and flat curve as you guys have seen before. How is that going to stand up against the other ones? And what about Megane? Megane started going slower and slower actually. Um, yeah, even slower than ID3 at higher state of charge. So this is quite disappointing at Megane that uh, despite being fairly new tech and also similar size batteries, the other one, it's charging the slowest of them all. Which car is leading right now? Model 3 has a slight lead over Aria. Uh, still kind of flat, but it seems like Aria is getting a little bit lead here because he has a flatter curve than Model 3. And then ID3, wow, to be, yeah, to buy a big surprise. Again, ID3, which is a German car, tends to be fairly flat curve, but not here. And then Megane is just uh, and the, at the very end now, or at the very back, uh, the fourth place, the slowest one. Uh, going just slower and slower, not much to say there. Uh, we can, I guess you can look at Aria versus Model 3 again. Is Aria still not taking a lead here? Wow, I'm not surprised that Model 3 has a relatively flat curve also, and Model 3 can keep keep up with the other ones, even though Tesla is known for having a nice jolt of speed in the beginning, uh, and then it drops fairly fast, but not Model 3, not this one. This is the L L uh, SR Plus with the LFP battery. Um, yeah, the only LFP battery in here, by the way. Uh, but okay. Uh, what's going on with the Megane? Um, yeah, not much to say there. It's kind of it's just going slower and slower. There was no crazy uh, speed uh, jump up and down or anything like that. Uh, still on the, it's still the slowest one. Uh, Ar wait, Aria and Model 3 is just neck on neck right there, fighting for the first place. Uh, but oh, oh, you see now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Aria now has a flatter curve than the Model 3. So this is the chance for Aria to win over the Model 3 to the race to 90%. And what about ID3 versus Megane? Um, I, I guess at this point there is no chance for Megane to catch up ID3 or will it? Uh, well, we'll see, I guess. Uh, they are still kind of close-ish, right? Oh, now, oh, now it's a neck on neck Aria and Model 3. They are neck on neck now, 82%. Oh, Aria is about to take over. It's about to overtake a Model 3. Look at that. Oh, 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 Model 3 just can't keep up with the Aria right now. Aria has super flat curve. Very impressive. That 84% is taking 56 kilowatt. Look at my gun on 72%. It's taking 47% kilowatt only. Huh? It's really impressive. Aria still, Aria again impresses me. Uh, seems like actually Aria is going to take the win here. But what about... Um, ID3 versus uh, Megane then. Uh, I think at this point it's almost impossible for Megane to reach, to, uh, to reach ID3. ID3 just has a way way too big lead. And also, look at that. Even at higher state of charge, ID3 has higher charging power than Megane. So, that, okay, there you go. Aria hit 90%. Okay. So, Aria is the winner again. And then Model 3 will be right behind it. But then Aria was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to go for 100%. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. While I'm waiting for the other slow post to arrive. Uh, then there, okay, model, model 3 hit 100%. Okay. Model 3 also goes past 90%. Yeah, why not? Now we just, uh, it just now we are watching um, paint dry because uh, ID3 goes kind of slow. But wait, wait a minute. Megane, on the other hand, is not that slow on the higher end. You know, many many cars tend to just fall apart once you pass 80%. This one still has okay speed. Think about this. This is only 60 kilowatt hour, and it can still manage to maintain okay speed. But uh, by the way, I will I should should mention that the, the little chart here is a little bit uh, weird because. 85% here is actually 87% on the display, so that's why I only count to 88% and that is actually 90% on the on the display and on the charger screen. So it's kind of, okay, uh, ID3 hit 90%. 
Now we just wait, and Audio hit 99%. It's like, ah, okay, whatever, let's wait. <laughs> so Audio is just a clear winner here. One to 90%, one to 99% also. Now, oh, shit, I didn't beat my mosquitoes, shit. Uh -huh. So not unexpectedly, see the Nagan, Nagan, okay, it wasn't the slowest one off the line, but you can see the red line here. It is the slowest one, or the lowest, the slowest charging curve, beaten by even ID3. You see, ID3 had a nice, uh, nice peak, and then even, okay, goes kind of hand on hand with the Megan, actually. But I guess because of the ID3 had that initial uh, peak, um, then or the hit, hit initial head start, then that uh, still made the ID3 faster than Megan. And then Model 3 again has an even bigger jolt in the beginning and still managed to maintain relatively flat curve. Uh, but then by the end of the day, you see that on, on the rate to 90%, then Aria, because it has an even flatter curve, managed to go to 90% first. But Model 3 was really hard to beat at, at least until around 70, 80% from what I remember. So now you guys seen it. Uh, my impression, my takeaway from this is that also after doing 1000 km challenge, because obviously I have done 1000 km challenge since I'm sitting here, is that um, the, the Megan is charging kind of slow for 2022 20, tech. Uh, what, what could have they done? Because, okay, because uh, why, why do I expect the Megan to be faster? Well, because they supposed to use the same drivetrain and, and, and battery as Audia. And you see that Aria was really fast and flat. So why the heck is the Megan so much slower? Okay, it's smaller battery, but just a, ki a few kilowatt hour less shouldn't really matter, right? So um, I was expecting um, Megan to charge kind of like Aria, but but it wasn't. So that's a slight disadvantage. I mean, slight disappointment. Hopefully, um, if we know they can update the charging curve to to be faster, and if that happens, maybe I will retest it. But for now, then Megan is actually the slowest one in the comparison here. But keep in mind that the Megan is also really efficient, at least at low speed. At high speed, it's still kind of good because because the base consumption or the drivetrain consum or consumption is low. So uh, that kind of saves the day. Almost, almost like um, uh, what was again? Uh, yeah. Kia e Nero, which is kind of outdated, old, slow uh, charging curve, but the, the efficiency saves the day. So it's still okay, but if you want something fast for 1000 km challenge, you better look at some of the other cards instead. All right, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.